Good day everyone! I am Lindsay A. Silvacion and I'm Casey C. Morillo. This is International News. The Biden administration granted Kono Phillips approval for a mere new drilling project, the Willow Project, oil project in the National Petroleum Reserve is most definitely federal and it's significantly north of Arctic Circle. The Willow Project got a $600 billion U.S. dollars, $8 billion oil project recently approved by the Biden administration with the outreach of environmental and climate activists. It's the latest chapter in that long saga. Begin said by that my strong inclination was to disprove of it across the board but the advice I got from council was that, that if that were the case, I may very well lose that. Case in the court, the oil company and then not be able to do what I really want to do. Beyond that, Biden said during the joint press conference with the Canadian Prime. Now, Bongdolia has filed a mission to do a new homework policy. Let's hear the update from Senor Danar. This is the National News. No homework policy for elementary junior Harry Bella. Manila Senator Ramon Bongdolia Jr. has filled the measures seeking a new homework policy as elementary and junior high school. Seeing take home assignment lowered productivity and the attitude of learners toward education, which turns to leave more dropout creators and lesser grades. Under Senate Bill Number 792 or the Number Homework Act of 2023, there will be no mandatory homework or assignment on weekends and will all only have to be minimal and should not require more than two hours to be completed and on a voluntary basis. The bill has said less homework gives parents more time with their children, allowing their latter to engage in more curricular activities. I said the 2009 study conducted by the Organization for Economic Cooperation and Development Program of International Student Assessment OECD PSA found that the additional time investment in homework has negligible impact on the student's performance. Countries that have significantly reduced no homework load on students found that their correlation between assigning more homework to students in a kind of anxiety that leads to low motivation in schoolwork. The additional times allow the children to relax their mind and increases their ability to better grasp concepts. The bill said in his explanatory note, the bill, according to the bill, aimed to contribute, institutionalize, and expand the Department of Education DepEd. Memorandum Circular Number 292 is 2010, which provides guidelines on giving homework to all public elementary school pupils. Specifically, response to concern from parents regarding the amount of the time pupils consume when accomplishing their homework, instead of having enjoyable and quality time with their families. Thing. Uh. When I talk about vacation, where in Masbate, there is a beach called Palani Beach. Let's hear it from Severo Castellano. This is Severo. Palani Beach is swimmer friendly since its sandy beach falls gradually to the sea. The water only weighs deep even at 500 meters from the shoreline. According to Abisamis, families with children would have fun because of the long stretch of shallow water and white sand beach to ramp in. Now, let's talk about the sports. Let's hear it from Jed Mr. Dagda and Sahara Misty El Shalda. This is a sport news. Diaz became the first Filipina weightlifter to compete in two consecutive Olympics by qualifying in the women's weightlifting under 58 kilograms through the Continental and World Qualifying Tournaments. She was ranked in her event heading to the Olympics. In a session, fall of record sitting, performance Edeline Diaz of the Philippines won up with two of those records and the gold medal in woman 65 kilogram weightlifting, telling both of her last lift. The gold medal in the first ever for any athlete from the Philippines. As the first ever Filipino athlete in history to bring home an Olympic gold medal, Hedlund has inspired and united the whole country to dream bigger and take on challenges bolder. Through her story of resilience, she has shown that dream indeed do come true. She made history. 
what does the sports to benefit to you? As a one of a football player or futsal player sa campus, sa compre, ang benefits ko po is na nakapuha is ano, in a good grades or which is I can maintain my grades even though bihira lang makapasok sa school due of the trainings and also ang nakapuha din di, na benefits sa sports is mapapresent nyo ang names sa school nyo, madadaran yung larangan sa school nyo, paiba na kind of places like Marikina this coming palarong pambansa sa July. Salamat. Good day everyone and this is Showbiz Update with Chiri Biro and Andrea Villantes have broke up. Nagmahal ako ng totoo eh. Hindi ko yun malalit go agad-agad. On Twitter yesterday, the basketball player issued a estimate asking their fans and followers to please respect our decision to keep it ourselves so that we can reserve what lives on our friendship. I'm sorry for whatever disappointment it may have caused you. For everyone, peace of mind, please allow ourselves to heal and move on peacefully without hate and pain, he added. In his tweet, Richie owned up to the mistake of not making my relationship status public because it, I feel there's no need to add up to what we're going through. Now we're having the weather update from Shalane Aganan. Forecast weather condition place Palawan, Visayas, Sambuanga, Peninsula, Northern, Mindanao, and Canada. Weather condition Cloudy skies with scattered rain shower and thunderstorm. Caused by IPCZ. In fact, possible flash floods or landslides to scattered like moderate to at times heavy rains. Place Metro Manila and the rest of the country. Weather condition Partly cloudy to cloudy skies with isolated rain shower or thunderstorm. Caused by ITCZ localized thunderstorm. In fact, possible flash floods or landslides or rain shower thunderstorm. Temperature and relative humidity. Extremes for 24 hours per year. Ending at 8 p.m. yesterday. Recorded at Pag-asa Weather Situation, Science Garden, Delman, Quezon City. Temperature, max, 34.3 degrees Celsius, 1.30 p.m. Men, 25.6 degrees Celsius, 7.30 a.m. Relative humidity, max, 89%, 5 a.m. Men, 58%, 2 p.m. Satellite image, surface map analysis, predicted mean sea level pressure analysis, 8 a.m. today, 23 June 2023. Predicted mean sea level wind analysis, 8 a.m. today, 23 June 2023.